What's good, everybody? It's Batman, and we're going to be continuing on the whatever podcast episode. And uh, right now, we're into the debate territory of things. Things are getting very spicy. Um, the topics as of now is about uh, patriarchy and oppression between both sexes, men and women. And basically, who has it worse, who has it better, or, you know, yada, yada, and like those type of things, right? Um, that's what we're getting into right now. And just as a recap, if you guys didn't see the previous episode before, uh, make sure to put all those episodes in the link in the description as well. If you guys want to watch from part one to part two and then all the way to this point, which would be for part three, um, definitely check it out, follow through. But as of now, just a, a brief recap. The girl is getting slammed right now. Her logic's not following through. She's giving tons of, of like, she's giving the worst example you could possibly give. Um, a really good example is like a uh, woman's health rights being all over the fucking place. That would be a blatant example of patriarchy or a form of, of negative oppression, you know, so on and so forth. Um, yada, yada, yada. But she's getting into the whole aspect of like, oh, guys have sex with a bunch of girls. They get cheered for it. A girl, you know, then they're fucking uh, scrutinized, uh, you know, fucking harassed and, and who knows what, you know, crucified for it. And mind you, that happens from both sexes, girls and guys, you know, so it's like overall. And then she's trying to argue and substantiate why that's a, you know, a form of patriarchy and a pretty whatever, blah, 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 when it's it's not. And then she even tried to bring up like a, a work thing to where of how that corresponds. Like if a girl's doing at work, then she's fucked and a guy's not. That's not how that works either. You know what I mean, so on and so forth. There's like tons and tons of evidence to say it's literally the opposite actually and only for guys folks or whatever blah blah yada yada and they treat both sexes to the same degree of severity of what's actually going to be more beneficial for the company you know and i mean if you have negative politic background they probably they don't want you if you have a negative uh background with other weird shit or whatever blah blah and you are trying to hire a specialist or whatever something yada yada like that's going to be kind of productive companies are going to make business decisions they're not going to make things based upon oh you do whatever you want. That's fine. Who cares? Everybody could just suck it up and just deal with it. No. I don't give a fuck about that, you know? So, overall, it's just not good. We're going to get into it, though. I don't want this intro to be too long. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's do it. Flex poorly on both of them. If, if it's like a job that requires some sort of uh, decorum or, or seriousness. I understand what you're saying. And you're basically saying, oh, there's a general stigma against sex work, which is true. But, but is but that even the if best? We take, wait, that's the wait, one example wait, you go wait. to when I'm asking about the yeah. patriarchy? We're asking how the well, patriarchy is. You, you asked for one can, example, and I gave you one example. That was a bad example. Can I, Harry, can I take a step of this? Okay. I think when people talk about the patriarchy, in the broadest of sense, what we're really saying is that, historically speaking, men have kind of been granted all of the autonomy in directing society, and women are, even though in some ways they're benefiting from the patriarchy, they're kind of like the subjects of men. So men exist to make decisions financially. They're the leaders of business. They're the leaders of banks. Men exist to make decisions about wars and the state of the country. They're the head of the political systems. There are presidents. There are congressmen. And men are the ones making decisions about how women live their lives. They're the head of the household. They're the ones working jobs predominantly, so they're choosing where people live. Mm -hmm. So when people criticize the patriarchy, um, in some ways the patriarchy benefits and hurts men. In some ways the patriarchy benefits and hurts women. But I think what people are generally looking at is the autonomous aspect. That in patriarchy, even if you are benefited and hurt a bit as a man, ultimately, you have a lot of autonomy. You've got a lot of different ways that you can decide to live your life. Some of these come out in good ways, um, like you can have jobs, you can be single, you can do whatever. Some of these come out in bad ways. You're more likely to join the military or work really shitty jobs. Um, and then same thing with women. Um, there are ways that it can benefit you or hurt you. It can benefit you in that you don't have to work, you can stay home and take care of a kid. Um, it can hurt you in that you're subjugated to a pretty narrow role, uh, narrow set of roles. But the main issue is that feminists would argue that in a patriarchal system, the man has a much wider range to express his desires and how he wants to exist in the world, whereas women are kind of like, you have to do this one thing, otherwise you're going to be heavily socially or sometimes even legally ostracized for it. Well, it's like the broadest. Yeah. I, I disagree with you a little bit there on your last point. So, I think, uh, Destiny was spitting a lot of fucking facts, uh, but there is, but I, I believe Brian's going to say exactly what I'm thinking, and, and we're going to see how this goes. Actually, if you look at kind of the options that women have, it's I, I think they have more options than do men. For example, in Facts. terms of uh, partnering up with a woman, I, I would say men overwhelmingly, you know, women have kind of two choices. They can find a man who's prepared to provide for them. They can be the stay at home. Yep. Not, not all women are gonna be able to secure that option, but it's there for some women. Facts. Or, to be clear, before you, I'm just saying historically, this way, like today, oh, his, the, as society exists today is a lot different than it was in the 1800s, right? I'm just saying sure. historically when we talk about patriarchy, because okay. as it exists today, a lot of what is okay. So okay, so Destiny is now reclarifying. He's saying historically there was obvious pa- patriarchy, you name it, whatever, and oppression, and women were fucked compared to men. That's obvious. Nobody would argue with that, right? If you do, that's kind of weird. 
um what's it called but as of now in modern he's like that 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 wouldn't actually technically be the case it'd be more in, okay so that makes more sense okay because that that's what i was really about to say what brian was saying like hey, i don't know about as of now in modern though bro what you mean you know so he at least uh re-clarified okay quote unquote patriarchy is really we're talking about which is really interesting I, I would actually i would have expected uh someone like because I, I always hear destiny's like the pro woman guy right you know whatever blah blah to me you would think he would advocate why uh women have it the worst uh with patriarchy and oppression and then still still to this day they do whatever yada yada but apparently that's not what it is he said it's it's not the case but through history it was so very nuanced social pressures and a little bit of litigation. So maybe Interesting. Like abortion. That's a common well, Broadly speaking, like a lot of the issues related them both to women having freedom society have mm. been ameliorated. Women sure. can go to school, they can have jobs, they can exist on their own. Like yeah, largely facts. speaking, they've got a lot more freedom now than they did yeah. even 50 years ago. Facts. Well, yeah, yeah. Literally, they can go to school, they can do any job they want, whatever, blah, blah. They can do all kinds of shit now. He is spitting facts. There's literally evidence for it. They, they can do, women can literally do whatever the fuck they want when it comes to education, to choosing a job, so on and so forth, you name it, et cetera, blah, blah. It's just, it's literally all fucking there. It's all there. Oh, sure, sure. Thanks I, largely in due to feminists. Gotcha. Okay, and go. just to bring it back to you guys, I mean, my sense of the patriarchy. So Destiny's spitting on that. It's basically queuing on for feminists. Like modern uh, as of now? So it's way like better and they can do whatever but, the fuck. Um, wait, wait, we got to continue to use the number one weakness of feminism, which is accountability. So you said. Oh, but, but I will say this, though, in defense for a woman, though. Is it overall? No, because there, there's way more CEOs of men than females. And CEOs are like basically the top dog of the company, like the one in charge. Like for instance, like Bruce Wayne with the Wayne uh, company, he's a CEO, right? He makes the most money, whether he's a billionaire, yada, yada. There's way more male CEOs than uh, women CEOs. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I, my, when I last Googled that, that's what it at least said. I don't know if anything's changed or whatever, so don't fucking bite my ear off, but Overall, like that's the thing. There, there's certain elements and layers. And another example, once again, women's health rights. So, like overall, there's those type of things, whatever. But as a modern, as a today, whatever, it's really weird when uh, there's people that try to argue that they still don't have shit or they can't do anything at all. And there's all this and X Y Z and why they're still like and they're just fucked and only you know blah blah. blah, blah that's just not like, bro. What the fuck are we on about? Like this. There's really evidence to the contrary for that. Now, if you're saying like, oh, when it comes to being a president facts destiny was spitting for some reason we can't let a fucking woman be a president you know that's a that would be a blatant example of bullshit and so on and so whatever and he lists like he did a perfect job he illustrated and listed all the bullshit that women are going through and then he listed all the stuff that women are in rainbows and sunshines they can do whatever the fuck they want and yada yada and literally yada 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 so it's like overall like when it comes to a general consensus of convenience whatever you name it women are okay they do benefit the most whatever blah blah especially with systems and etc and all the other shit whatever blah blah but when it comes to health rights when it comes to being a fucking president when it comes to being a congress person when it comes to all these other things whatever blah blah yada yada they're absolutely fucked so it's like overall then you now you got to get into like fucking either statistics and math and you kind of now have to have like a little scale who who is like way higher is it the guy or is it the girl and that's where you finally have the the final conclusion of where who really has it overall, the worst or the best and or the most convenient or advantages, whatever you name it. And it's it is it's contentious. There's there's all kinds of things on both sides for men, for women, whatever. But if you look through every bit of piece of it and, and look at all that stuff, exactly how Destiny just said it fucking couldn't have said it better than anyone else. There you go. Right. Modern woman got it in modern society as of now they have it so said that men not perfect, are being lifted up and women are being put under men because i'm gonna say this why i'm gonna say that, I'll, I'll say this right now it would be really nice to have a woman president like you know like for like naruto we see lady sinani become the fifth okage that was fucking goaded right you know you name it whatever where the fuck is our president <laughs> like, like to be fair we had one but it's like that to me, I don't count that. I, like, I, it was like some bullshit, like not, you know, like where they're kind of for what, you know. To me, that, that's that, that's it's a rat way what they did. We, I, I'm waiting to this day of a dead ass legit, like it's it's some bullshit. I, like, I, I'm sorry, but it's really really weird. And then what that blonde chick said before she was spitting about the whole bathroom thing with Destiny, but then what she just said right there and then about um that's how it should be. There shouldn't be a woman president or this. Uh, 
Like, what kind of crack are you on? Like, what? Like, come on, bro. Like, having like these gigantic give him a chance. leaps and bounds and at least give him a chance at the detriment of women. I said giant leaps and bounds. I said well, you, general you, benefits. You, uh, that's what the patriarchy is. It's just like this big phantom boogeyman that's here to oppress all I women. I literally. So I wanted you to. The... I just wanted you to clarify on your point because so, you didn't give an example. Destiny had to jump in. So what's your example? Because you used OnlyFans on a no, I didn't um, use job only fans. On I was trying to interview. use a, okay. First of all, the general point I was trying to make is that if you find out a guy has slept with thirty women, a lot of people see that guy as like a player, as charismatic, et cetera, et cetera. If you find out a woman has slept with thirty men, she's oh, from the streets. Or okay, yeah, this is, I think this that is, this is a very, no, no, but beyond that, that I can give you other from examples. the objective differences between male and female. Uh, sexuality. Oh, that's another uh, oppression example for men where they're fucked when it comes to the court system. You're a guy, you're fucked, especially if you're colored. Girl, you get a fucking slap on the wrist and it's like, oh, wipe your tears, it's okay, you'll be all right, and we got you, now let's let's take care of you, make you feel better, whatever, blah, blah. That's another fucking example, you know? But I'm just saying. ...stigma that has just been artificially imbued into us. There are objective differences between the decisions that women make in the so-called sexual marketplace and the decisions that men make in it because women are the gay uh, There is this, uh, there's this chick that killed two people I, I I can't remember if it was a kid and adult or two adults, but she killed two people just because she wanted to crash into them for no reason at all. She just wanted to crash into them. She killed two fucking people. They gave her 15 years of fucking jail time. If that was a guy that killed two people for no fucking reason at all or colored, he's locked up for fucking life, bro. You know what I mean? Or for like some fucking nonsense, you know? Now, I will say this to be fair because the, the whole... Uh, fucking court system and justice it, it's all that's a whole other can of worms you name it there are moments where like at least for white men to where they could r word some you know a girl or this or whatever blah blah and next thing you know they get also slapped in the wrist so there are there are times when men do get slapped in the wrist but more consistently based you name it especially colored colored men or just nine out of ten times right if we're going like statistics or numbers here it's way more probable for a man to get the most extreme and harsh punishment for something so stupid or for something that, like, if another person did, whether if he was white or female, it's nowhere near or just, a, or like, oh, boo-boo, you know, whatever. It's some fucking bullshit, okay? So, but anyways. Wait, can you explain to that, or I'm just, I'm genuinely curious. I just want to understand, like, your logic and your thought process. Um, the, but hold on, that, me, still no example? Okay. Wait, okay, let, hold well, on, let, let me just, I just got to interrupt you really right quick. Still no example? I'm waiting. I mean, I'll give you your hold example Hold on, let, right me, let me just interrupt okay. you really quick here. Um, I, I, I feel fucking terrible having the straw man for a feminist, but like you keep going back to this body count thing. I'm, I'm anti-feminist, but I'm familiar with feminist. Anti-feminist, damn bro, what? <laughs> How, like, okay. Feminist arguments, like this whole men and women being judged differently because like, of like that that's what i don't understand there's nothing wrong with being a feminist like once again you could have a good feminist or a bad feminist right like i, I i'll never understand someone saying anti i'm an anti that that makes no fucking sense so then you're just misogynistic like in a sense because you're basically against women basically having equal rights or to be treated fairly and morally and etc right that doesn't make you know he needs to fucking explain himself with that, because that don't make no fucking sense. On their sexuality is like such a low priority for feminists. I, I'm confused why that's your first thing that you're going because to. Because we were talking, I know it's related to dating, saying, but were you saying that was I mean, you asked for symptom. one example. You didn't were, ask for like were you saying, not a right, Everybody, hold on, hold on. Okay. Were you saying that, that that was a benefit for men of the patriarchy, that men are able to sexually take advantage of women? Um, yes, but they're also the reason why I brought that up is because since you guys kept repeating like this is a dating podcast like oh you know relationships that was one of the first things that Fair my enough. mind went Fair to. Enough. But I do have other examples of like patriarchal like structures. Before we get to that, before we get to, I find this very very fascinating. So, are you acknowledging that men running through women that's a bad thing? Um, yes, but society as a whole doesn't seem to agree with my opinion. Doesn't seem to agree with that, and you're saying men running through women. This is one of the uh, uh, negative aspects of patriarchy, and it's one of the things that men benefit from when it comes to patriarchy. Is that correct? Would you say? Um, society as a whole views that as a benefit to men. Okay, and is that, that's what I'm hold saying. On, hold on. I have my personal opinion that's disagreeing with that. But in general, if we're talking about how society generally views a patriarchy, how gener society generally views women and men, society generally will prop up a man if he engages in that behavior. Is that because of patriarchy, you're saying? Um, 
I do think that's an extension of patriarchy. This idea that like men are more capable, that men are you know like stronger, and therefore like those actions are supposed to indicate like strength. I have one th one thing, one thing really quick. Really I'm quick. trying to make a point. What? He's Go trying ahead. to make a point. God damn uh, it! Uh, Let him make his I've, point. I've listened. He's put his I've mic on the table. He's leaning minutes. forward. One thing. <laughs> I've listened for 20 minutes. Please. Just go one ahead. thing. Oh my god. Is is the patriarchy stronger now? Or was it stronger, say, 100 years ago? Oh, it was stronger 100 years ago. I think we've made great advancements. And, and so you're rights. blaming, but you're, the patriarchy was stronger, say, 100 years ago, but now in today's day and age, when it's ostensibly the weakest it's ever been, how, how can you pin so this, this is promise? Brian, let me is take that you from This is kind of, he's, he's leading to my point, okay? <laughs> you and I both agree that men running through women is detrimental to our society, correct? Yes. The argument that I would make is in years past, when there were stronger patriarchal structures over society, there were decreased rates of men running through women because we had greater amounts of tradition in society. This whole sexual liberation thing that is intimately tied into feminism, I would say that feminism is largely to blame for so many women in our society getting run through because earlier in the conversation, Destiny was making the point that nowadays we live in a society where a lot of women, both liberal and conservative alike, they want to go and build their careers and they want to go and enjoy their lives. And a big part of that enjoyment of their lives involves being sexually free in their 20s. That thing that you dislike, that is a fruit of feminism. Yeah. And it's one of the things historically that patriarchy protected against because traditionally speaking, it was a father's job to protect his daughter's virginity and her purity and all that kind of stuff. That's like that's a good no, thing for society. Wanted, that's a, this sexual liberation stuff that's burning women is a fruit of feminism. Yeah, that's wanted, a, no, that's a very, okay. sorry, let me just respond to that quickly. All right. That's a very interesting point. However, when I look at historically examples of like what has happened um, between men and women's I like the professionalism and the sportsmanship though. The They're all being nice to each other. Still incentivized like men to like either sleep around or not face negative just communicating even if they have opposing views around, being until the advent of feminism also try to help fight against that so that was let me just absolute finish absolute top of society though and wait, 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 people get men. super emotional or they get offended or really defensive and yada yada or gets heated and etc so it was yeah. nowhere near like it is today okay just but the idea that like oh if a man cheats on you it's the woman's fault she was not a good enough wife she was not like good enough whatever um existed for decades right um this idea that like oh uh sorry, yeah but that's I, I wrong nobody's it. arguing that that's that's blatantly wrong like if if the girl got cheated on and everybody's saying it's the girl's fault whatever or, or whatever yada yada, yada blah, blah like come on like, i mean that's just people being fucking stupid you know what i mean like of thought. Well, I think okay, that I just Christian <laughs> patriarchy, infidelity in marriage was frowned upon for yes. everyone. Yes. Yeah. It I, was frowned upon more than for everyone, now. but women before the advent of feminism weren't able to break away from those okay. from that. Basically. I just wanted to say they that. were stuck in Let these, her finish your yeah. point, please, okay. Nev. Yeah, they were stuck in these cycles. Feel bad like, for her. Everybody keeps interrupting her, bro. <laughs> Let her fucking talk. It's like, okay, um, my husband cheats on me. Or my husband leaves me. He's an alcoholic. He's doing all this. But she, she's not wrong either. This is my last pause. She's not wrong. Like, if a girl gets cheated on, they fucking, they, like, they'll blame it on her or yada yada or all this shit, whatever, blah, 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 right? And then if a guy gets cheated on, fucking, like, oh, the, the guy is, like, you know, it's like, oh, man, that fucking sucks. How dare she, whatever. And it's still on the girl, right? <laughs> like... I'll just say that like at least from my experience what i've heard that that's that, that makes sense but i don't know fully on that but either way like regardless of whichever is actually the case people what people have a hard time understanding is the difference between just how reality is okay and then and then you know and and, and it's like sure it's okay to argue against reality and argue why it's wrong and you know and why we should have changed whatever but at the same time, if nobody gives a fuck, and that's just how things always have been demonstrated throughout history, do you really think you speaking some words or saying or whatever or yada yada or arguing is going to really put effect or change on that? No. You got to go to politics. You got to go to this, whatever, blah, blah. You got to actually enforce that shit, not just oh, speak your word, whatever, because that's the problem. Like people, people don't like how reality is, you know what I mean? And that's perfectly fine. But at the end of the day, reality is reality. 
You know, like if, for as an example, if we have a whole fucking war and you name it whatever, blah blah, they're gonna be sending all the men to go to war, not fucking women and children or whatever, yada yada yada, etc. Or if there's a big fucking event going down, guess guess who gets saved? Women and fucking ch and children, not the men. They're the ones to be sacrificed, whatever. Look at the Titanic, yada yada. Like at the end of the day, there's certain points in life where reality is reality, whether if it's fair, right, wrong, it is what it fucking is, right? You know, like. Should there be something to be done about it? Whatever, sure, that's fine. Do whatever, say. But it's like I'll never understand why people want to lose their minds or these are the things they want to argue about because it's like it's been so many years, right? And it's still the same fucking way. Like there's literally people that will act or say things that's not even taught by adults or parents. They just naturally would do it. Because that's either what's in the environment or just what happens, right? It's reality. So it's like people need to, to, to understand the separate distinctions between reality and then morality as well. And to basically understand that this is just how it is. Therefore, what should you do if reality is like this? Obviously, you should make the decision to make sure it's going to benefit you or at least not cause you any more problem, negativity, whatever, blah, blah, right? You know what I mean? So for instance, if I'm a girl, right? And reality for eons and years is if I if I start sleeping with a bunch of men, I get fucking screwed, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm slammed for, right? You know what I mean? I'm crucified. So guess what? If I'm a girl, obviously I'm not gonna be telling people I'm sleeping with a bunch of people or I just won't fucking do it. Because at the end of the day, it's like you gotta fucking pick your poison. Do you wanna just enjoy your life and have tons of fucking sex or whatever, blah, blah? Or do you, and, you know, and then, but then have to deal with the cons of no peace, being harassed, this, 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 this. Or do you want to just find someone that makes you happy, do whatever you want to do, and then basically not have to worry about the harassment and X, Y, Z. Like there's way more cons, et cetera, com when it comes to this reality moment, right? That's what people have a hard time understanding. Embrace reality, understand what is what, and try to make the right decision to minimize the damage for yourself and that's just gonna have more pros than the cons because at the end of the day, you're never gonna get a perfect happily ever after in rainbows and sunshine. It's just not how it fucking works. I'm sorry. If I was a girl, that is the logical decision I would make because I would lose my fucking mind if I'm being cyber bullied and harassed or socially whatever or just not approved or this and this and that and all this shit, I would lose my fucking mind. I would never wanna go through that shit, you know? So. Well, Anyways. because th there's no fault divorce, I'm stuck with him. I have to take this abuse. He could be physically abusive. But those were situations with fault for divorce. That was grounds for divorce, abuse, alcoholism. Yeah. But even cheating. then, the even idea the that you have to sees cheating as grounds for divorce. Even so then, the idea that, even then, the idea that you have to go through this whole court process to prove that your husband actually did this stuff to you and that you didn't deserve it, right? Because those were the thoughts back in the day that if your husband does anything to you, well, it's your fault because you weren't a good enough wife, you weren't a good enough mother, or whatever. Um, did stop women from being able to be liberated or be able to get the rights that they deserved. Kind of like what men have to go through now. Of course, aren't the things you've listened Bro, stop saying the fucking R word. What's wrong with these people? I feel so bad for the host, for Brian. Like, you can clearly see in his face that he's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, these motherfuckers. Like, what the fuck? Like, bro. <laughs> I mean, fucking A, man. Like, I'm having to create timestamps for this shit because these dinglings. I don't know, bro. I don't know. And you want to know what I'm also fucking up on? I literally have three timestamps. Like, I feel great. vaguely great. unfulfilled sorry. in this relationship. Yeah. Can I just say, I think that you are actively a perpetuating point, the patriarchy that you're cursing and blaming everything on by endorsing like OnlyFans and stuff by saying, When oh, did I ever endorse well, OnlyFans? Well, just by like promoting the stuff. Like, when did I promote it? earlier when did i do it, it earlier? you started bringing only fans into things as if like people no were judge you i for said it. well i said like yeah women are judged for having only fans that, that was the most niche example ever should like should women not be judged for fair false rape accusations is a very niche example too. i think you're fair play fair play no. but i mean come on destiny also, come on hey hey hey, hey everybody everybody, everybody for the sake of brian's channel if we're going to talk about sa let's use the word grape okay so for sa though destiny come on pulling up like oh we see you may have had an only fan no, but That's you're strongmanning me. I used OnlyFans as an example, but what I was trying to elaborate or what so I was bad. trying to Destiny illustrate is, is that even without OnlyFans, if you find out or a rumor or whatever that a woman has slept around with 30 men, 
they're gonna look down on that woman. Forget see, OnlyFans. Forget right. 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 It's so. more right. feminist right. to hold women accountable for their actions and believe that they have full agency over their sexuality and hold them accountable when they've done things unwise with their sexuality. Hit and the that's a more feminist option than considering them to be just tiny like angel there. babies who no, and, and as to be defended no matter what they do and as a feminist i agree but i also think we should hold men accountable for these actions well, who do you, as well okay, who do you, but you seem come to in, think billy, that billy, women shouldn't be judged hold for on. having let's an let open billy face. let's let billy I, what in. sorry can you repeat that you seem to think that women should not be judged for choosing to do porn i think it depends on the circumstance there Absolutely. is no circumstance okay yeah, yeah, i'm sorry but on. there are so many women who get into sex trafficking who start only fans because they get the you know that abusive. That is not the example that you gave us. You gave well, us the I example was, okay. of women with OnlyFans. No, I was giving a general example of like, oh, the idea of when women are judged more harshly. Women, but <laughs> if you want, I'm gonna elaborate now, or I'm gonna clarify okay. now. That's just an example, right? Um, there are you. You asked, oh, do you think women should never be judged for OnlyFans? I never Stop said it. that. I do think that it's there are certain bad. scenarios. <laughs> Um, where they How shouldn't be judged as scenarios? Okay, all right, all right hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So For the you, sake of conversation, let's, look, let's with bring all, Billy with all due respect, so we could go around and around and around um, with this, but you have like kind of like every single answer you give, it's kind of qualified. Like in some cases this, but in other cases that. It's, it's almost like it's a nuanced discussion that's not going yeah, to I mean, you could, you could, towards you can, yes, no answers. You can make every single thing nuanced is the point, but it's not fruitful for the overall discussion. I, I want to hear let, I want to wait, 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 let's, let's let Billy come in. in. I just have a question. As feminists, who do you think is more at a disadvantage or more discriminated against in today's society, men or women? Hey, Nev, move your mic. You're going to hate me for responding this, but what metric are you using? Like, what are you, are you saying? What? Like, in the, no, you guys are acting like I'm crazy. Oh my God, oh my. it's a simple fucking question. Uh, like, bro, it's in modern society, as of fucking today, not through the history, not in the past, whatever, as of fucking today in society, who has it the worst or the most of it? A girl or a guy? Very fucking simple. Nothing wrong if you say a guy. Nothing wrong if you say a girl. Just say your fucking answer, bro, and then try to argue whatever. Blah, blah. That's it. And what does she say? Well, what uh, what thing are you using? Or what? It's, it's like, bro... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like like everybody, Destiny, all these motherfuckers at the table just literally shook their head or like or just put in their head down. It's like, come on, bro. Like, what are we doing? And then this fucking chica with the the black hair, she's also fucking stupid. Sound of frustration. We're not acting. You You're are crazy. You are thinking with emotions right now. Just Wait, did you even answer, answer her question? I, I, I'm, I'm did not she, trying to disrespect Billy, did you. She answer like the you question? You're crazy. It's just whenever you answer a question, it's like every single thing has a million shades of gray. And I, I don't look at the world that way. And I think it, it overcomplicates literally everything. So beyond, you're saying you look at the world the in like simplistic black and white paradigms. You don't ever try to look at the shades. Of I mean, I'm, I'm the kind of person I believe in like objective truth. And like when it comes exactly. to the gender well, yeah, discussion, yeah, yeah. For he's spitting objective truth is extremely important. And most importantly, to simplify things and have a nice short and simple consensus of things instead of making it extremely fucking complicated and almost impossible to resolve and to be able to formulate a positive solution. You never want to complicate anything. That's literally like that incentivizes chaos, right? You know what I mean? You want to simplify things or resolve things as quick and as productive as possible. So yeah, what you're doing is unproductive and counterintuitive. I asked what is a woman and it's like somebody who's born with an XX or XY chromosome like to me a lot of things like that are very black and white and I know that in some small instances there's shades of gray but it's like when questions are directed I mean when we were talking corner, earlier about when like questions essay are directed, and bathrooms we were yo, like very finish, Aaron, let, him Aaron, let him finish when questions are directed to this side of the panel with all due respect it devolves into this like million shades of gray for literally everything in the conversation I feel like it's not fruitful for conversation. Is my so point. where during the job interview process do they ask you to bring up your OnlyFans history? Is it like the hiring manager? Is you know, it the HR? Is this the level of discourse like, that we're on? Where, where, at say, what point cool. during the client you you know, know, interaction? You know, there are background <laughs> checks that include your internet history. And if you choose to do OnlyFans, that's in your internet footprint forever. That is a choice that you made. That's the example that you brought up. And in your belief as a feminist women have full agency over their sexuality since they've been liberated it's only fair then to hold them accountable for making a decision can that, i say like that. only fans aside i personally 
I would not advocate for employers to go looking to see how qualified the candidates are by the first thing that they're searching up after they see the name on the resume. Let's see if they have an OnlyFans account. It comes up pretty quickly when you look at somebody's background. It wouldn't just be that as part of their history. Any more than I think it's relevant for an employer to be like, let's look through their Facebook, let's look through their Twitter, through their YouTube. So So every every employer, every employer is allowed to freely associate with who they want. But I would criticize any business person who thinks that it's prudent to spend their time. Sc- scanning through candidates like Instagram and social media internet thing. history? Well, yeah, that so wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so I think then, what's more relevant think is their credentials and their resume. You don't wait, think wait, it's prudent out. for employers to, f- to care about whether or not one of their employees has OnlyFans? Yeah, I think you're That's just... not prudent? Wait, wait, hold on. Like if, no, I'm hired, if, I'm, if I'm a CEO, on what the job if I'm a CEO, generally speaking, I don't think it's prudent or like a fruitful use of an employer's time to specifically to specifically comb through their prospective like applicants' internet history. Okay, in internet, that way. internet history and OnlyFans Seriously? are two different things. Okay? OnlyFans can be part of your internet history. So, so if I'm a CEO aside, and do. I'm hiring somebody, let's say I'm hiring a salesperson to close high ticket deals and they're talking with important people on a daily basis. And right. I'm sending that salesperson to go speak with these people. And if any of those people that they speak to look up that person's name and they find pornography of them all over the internet, obviously they're going to take me and my company far less seriously if I have somebody working like that for me. How and can your, you say that that's not important? Like, oh well, they shouldn't. Yeah, they shouldn't. No, think I that said that every employer and business yeah, owner is allowed to freely like, associate and hire whoever they think. So, if they really think that that's at odds with their company's profits, then don't hire that okay, candidate. But I would up, be very suspect as to whether or not that's actually. So the case. then, wait a minute. Wait, 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 it may very well be the case that the scenario that you're describing does happen. And if that's the case, then I wouldn't expect an employer to act any other way. So, okay, okay, cool. Great. So if this is not a relevant point, then why did she bring this up as a relevant point? I like how almost every other person in the panel understood what I was saying and maybe disagreed with what I was saying, but at least understood it versus you who keep saying like, oh no, you think a person like should like hired OnlyFans when it's like, hey, no, like what I'm trying to say is that there are different standards for Fit women check. and women when it comes to like sex. That's all I was trying to say. And yet uh, you keep there trying not to be strong- different standards for people who are different. No, oh, that's, that's a good question. Men and women are different, oh, so they are held to different standards because yeah. of the objective differences between male and female sexuality. Bingo. Yeah, and we what can have we can Bingo. have this conversation right now. I just want to point out that I appreciate you guys actually bringing that to a conversation than trying to straw man me over and over again. Okay. Well, so, what would your man. response be to that? Would to different so just women to make and men sure. are treated differently because of the objective differences between men and women, yeah. especially in regards to their sexuality. How is the patriarchy holding women down? I'm still waiting. Oh Did yeah, let's come back to that. Yeah, okay, why are we using hold the on, let me let me redirect like let me word. redirect the how, how conversation. I will say this real quick to like it's it's there's all, there's contentiousness with it because like I said, you could advocate and argue for why men and women that are sleeping with a bunch of people can be bad and how it could, you know, affect society negatively and the pros and cons, whatever, blah blah. And, but then at the same time, you could defend men and, and, and also say why it's, it's only bad for women, but not really that bad for men because throughout history and you name it, et cetera, and just reality itself, it's always been accepted, whatever. It's not really a problem, whatever, blah, blah, yada, yada. And therefore, it's like whatever, and it is what it is. That's just kind of just what basically life was, right? You know what I mean? Um, and so on and so forth, you know? But as of now, as of today's modern society, that when we're talking about companies, jobs, whatever, things like that, you know, you name it, things that actually are pretty big and important. Nobody just gives a fuck about that. They're strict to business and that's it. And that's it. And if you're a guy you're and you do something stupid, you're fucked. If you're a girl, you at least have a chance to not be fucked, you know, but or it would work the same exact way. Word. Yeah, okay. Okay. Wait, so like hold on. Let, I got a, I got a Men couple invented OnlyFans. I did want to hear Pixie's response <laughs> hold on. to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a couple okay. questions here. Let me try to get through them and we'll have a little back and forth. Okay, so. Under the patriarchy, are women oppressed? Yes. Huh. Are men the oppressors? <laughs> um, they're not all. <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> right, don't use the words I'll come back. three hundred dollars. Those two feminists are so far gone. Life has <laughs> consequences. It's called reality, and you two need a clear dose of it. Employers want morally sound employees. News flash doing of slash sex isn't moral. Also, can you two form a valid argument instead of rambling? <laughs> Thank you, Bads EXE. I think that's Wait, can Victor. I respond to the donor real quick? Yeah. I, something that's interesting to me is that, like, I think that there is a valid conversation to be had about doing employment background checks. However, um, not hiring somebody because they do OnlyFans. You could argue that, hey, I think the corporation should take a stand and say, we don't police our 
um, individual employees' backgrounds. Now, you can say that's unreasonable. However, when corporations turn that same lens and they get very woke about employees, you conservative people get really upset about that. For instance, if 10 years ago you tweeted shit about being a Nazi or whatever, or you tweeted edgy jokes, you guys would stand up and you'd go, hold on, corporations shouldn't be holding employees accountable for stuff they said on their Twitter 10 years ago. But it sounds like if somebody found an OnlyFans you did 10 years ago, you'd be saying, well, it's totally fair game to make it so that that person can't work at that yeah, company. Yeah, doing OnlyFans is worse than saying that. That's not a fair argument. Okay, well, one because, at a time, let's go. Okay, okay, so let, let, me, let me just say mine real quick People are easy. getting fired from their jobs for saying something is gay on Twitter 10 years ago. Or sure. like yeah. making, which, which, making a mildly reason, homophobic but hold on, joke. But we said That's earlier, a totally different thing no, than like no, no, espousing no, no, no. national socialism No, no, it's actually totally not. Because what if it is the case that your salesman is doing business with another company, and let's say that the person that they're interfacing with is gay, they find out that your salesperson tweeted homophobic stuff 10 years ago, Ago, and now you've got like an, uh, a blue chip company that doesn't want to do business with you because you hire, hire people that have been homophobic. They could use the exact same argument that you use about not hiring the OnlyFans people. Now, hold on. To be clear, I'm not saying that we should fire all those people. I'm just saying that back in my day, okay, we didn't ha fucking peruse all the online history of everybody to decide who gets hired and who's not. I think that if you're not on the clock, then the fucking employer shouldn't have anything to do with your shit. Yeah. But it is interesting that we were very selective about what we want policed in a person's history. Yeah, and that's how you This goes back Starbucks. to the original Fair point that I was say. making earlier in the conversation mm -hmm. about homosexuality. I, I do agree with Chase. I, I, I still do agree it's a false equivalence, mainly because, you know, it's just words and, and like you can't prove it 10, yada, yada, and all this, whatever, yada, yada, yada. And people are just overly sensitive about shit. And it's a fucking joke as of today's society. And there's there's many, many negative and cons out there of people being oversensitive to shit to where we're just getting fucked and fucked even more and more and more rights right by rights, you know, whether if it's gaming, social media, job, whatever, right? You know? So it's like I, I, I agree with both and understand both, but at the same time if I really, really had to pick a, a side, it's not I would go with Chase and it's just not the same because once again, you know, What's it called? Uh, doing business and having an OnlyFans for who knows how long, whatever, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. And then compare, and comparing that to just one fucking simple tweet you said, whether it was a joke, whatever, blah, blah, yada, yada. Come on, bro. Come on. You know I mean, you see the difference? It's like, come on. But Destiny did give a very good point and fair point to where the, the same liability um, expectation could be just as, you know, enforced as, you know, the other. You know what I mean? So even, even if it is way less severe, you know, or whatever, blah, blah, it's... The same shit, you know, because that's the perception of it, right? So, overall, it's, it's some contentiousness, you know what I mean? Um, and for what was based, you know, I'm, I'm gonna let him keep going, and then I'll decide who the victor was between those, between those two. But that's contentious. I want to live in a society where you can joke about something being gay online. Sure, but it, it could be a race. I'm, oh, come on, I'm saying gay, but it could be like a racist joke. It could be a bigoted joke. It could be a whatever edgy joke. It could be a, any type of thing, right? I'm, Is or that it could TOS? Be, Is it TOS? What to say that homosexuality? Is that TOS? I don't know, but your podcast is going We're down. We're in California, don't worry. <laughs> Just tell us when the stream goes down and move the rumble. Yeah, sure. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, I, well, I'm saying, hold on, I'm saying, hold on. I think, look, that, look, I think, look, that, look, I think that broadly speaking, I think we should probably say corporations we need to stop this culture of corporations digging into employment history just because like people on Twitter get really mad that like this guy did this thing five or ten years ago whether it's like making a sexist joke or doing OnlyFans. That's, okay. That would be my personal Fair opinion. enough. We gotta move move away from that. I wanna bring it back to you guys. Okay, so feminist posit that women are oppressed. You said yes. Do you think women are oppressed? I do believe women are oppressed, yes. Here in the US? Yes. <laughs> Although Say I think the first a, straight we answer we got we all had, night. Different no, no, I, definitions of patriarchy because I would say that patriarchy broadly refers to the state of the world. I'm really not interested in saying like blaming specific actors or genders or sexes and this is response like no, I think that's completely counterproductive. I think you can analyze the world through a patriarch like by analyzing the patriarchy seeing the detrimental effects of that, and if you see an issue, you can address it. Okay, I don't think we need that's to get fine, into this that's fine. Game. Okay, where, where, where are the on, positive on, aspects on. of patriarchy weigh into this conversation? Let, okay, let me, please, I know, please, I know please, John Doyle is ready to sound off on that, Monumental, let's, please, monumental. Let's stay here for a moment. Didn't men create OnlyFans for these women to be exactly. angry about? Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hey guys, hold on, everybody, fuck everybody. Pause. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's maintain this. Losing control. Please, I have just like a little back and forth. I want to have a little back and forth on this, Please allow me to just get through it. Okay. Are men the oppressors? Men and women are the oppressors. <laughs> oh, great. Why are you laughing? It's true. You don't think women hate Are like men the oppressors? Because if women are the oppressed, certainly then men must be the oppressors. Is that true? No. I don't I think it's too complicated to Fair say enough. one gender okay. or the other. Um but so you both uh, you both agree that women are oppressed? Yes. yes. By themselves. You're women. Are you oppressed? Um Yes, in yes. certain aspects. Into the mic, please. 
Yes. How are you as a straight white woman oppressed in America? Before you answer that, are you oppressed as a woman? Yes. I would say belonging to, like, identifying, being a woman, yes, that puts you at a disadvantage socially because of the social biases we've been discussing earlier on the panel. Do you think that's why no one has asked you out? Bro, Mary, shut the fuck up. Hey, guys, everybody, Brian's trying to get some. You're interfering with this clip farming. Come on. Okay. How are you oppressed? There's been countless and countless times, whether it be in academia, podcast, whatever, where I say something and people say, like, she's a dumb bitch, or in academia, it's more like, oh. That's not an example of your oppression. Well, if people are literally saying that, but then when it comes to a man saying the exact same thing I said, being like, oh, that was actually a very intelligent point. Well, then they are degenerating me or then they... Are you talking about double standards? Because there's plenty of... That's a form of oppression. You don't think double standards is a form of oppression? There's some that benefit men. Using the word oppression, you defining no oppression? themes of slavery and genocide and some guy calling you a dumb bitch for accurately... Oh my oh God. Being a a form of oppression. Like, <laughs> this is literally Have you ever oppression. hung out in like a, See, a Call of Duty... Holy like shit. Call of Duty 2? This is the problem. Not being able to get a you have because, conversations whoa, 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 whoa. like this and you participate in conversations like this and then feminists will literally think to themselves why has every major religion in society imposed like borderline draconian rules on our behavior and it's like maybe this lends some credibility to that thing I mean, yeah. women don't aspire to agency yeah, this is the problem s- with women are oppressed can women be oppressed if they're not like tied down somewhere you guys don't aspire to agency the, when the, men, the way that men do you are not fundamentally trying to lead trying to do things like that you think you are because you respond to the media and to society putting that idea in your head but if that were not the John, case you go back to I think to, like, Brian wants you to end century. your little soy rant no, it's no, no, I, was, no, I was no, enjoying literally it. Literally you everything that rant, that rant was soy you free said, you called it a soy <laughs> rant because he was making good that no, 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 no. Everything you have literally <laughs> said are the same arguments people have used against black people in like the 60s. Oh, 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 now we're going to the black Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is that real of it? No. What does black people have to do with anything, bro? Okay, hold on. If I hear it, tell me to shut the fuck up, actually say something okay, afterwards. Yeah, oh my god. god. This it's getting time. heated though now. It's getting heated. <laughs> here we go. Emotions are out. Fire, the flames are everywhere. Black people or whatever. Have face. You are comp- the point. No, no, no. You're saying your they're head. calling me a dumb bitch. I'm so no, no, no. I'm if saying he's saying a dumb bitch. So they don't act like a dumb bitch. Okay. Don't fucking John made say that. Point. Point. No, no. What I'm saying. Right. First of all, you guys took my point completely. Fucking twisted it. Yeah, I don't no. think we're doing like oppression Olympics here. Oh, no, 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 no. She's the point that I was trying to make. What about the black people? People. Okay. The point that I was trying to make is that people look at my gender and you know have limited my opportunities when it comes to like let's say careers look at your retardation billy billy go ahead no they don't into the mic you have have a greater advantage being a woman today do you yes i think into the mic sorry sorry (laughs) i think um we should list i think if we asked men and women at this table to list off how they're oppressed in today's society the men could come up with a much bigger list i, got oh, yeah. Yeah, I, got I guarantee one. not a single woman has done any landscaping in the hot so Brian, sun you think to survive that you're, like, on this men are panel oppressed and yes. absolutely. You're oppressed. that's absolutely. oppression absolutely. i think well well i, I think women. if we're gonna play the oppression game men i don't want to play that game today, if you want to play that game well i'm prepared to play it. it let's play uh, it. Yeah. men men are more oppressed than women for sure absolutely yeah and, and in fact and not not only today but historically too in some ways sure like if you want Can to talk about like men males- in some ways it's scared to even speak to women if you what, want to talk what? about male women disposability men, men no, have climbing rates of like suicide i'm gonna be with you what percentage those, of what, what, with you. what percentage of people what percentage of people that are homeless are men probably the majority no three and four okay yeah so the, well, where, the do, where does the where does the matriarchy outcomes. fit into that oppression? <laughs> is that like? Look, well, that's a really simple one. How long do you think a homeless woman would make it? I think she's more likely women, to get. I, I agree into, with you, but I think a lot of women will rather go end up on no. their back than end up on the streets. That would rather what? Women end up on their more, back uh, than end up on the streets. Sure, but I, I mean, like, even, even ignoring well, hold on, even, even ignoring that, I'm just saying that like there's a lot of questions that we ask in terms of like, and the oppression Olympics thing is weird. Um, to be clear, because I'm drawing my own, so patriarchy arguably oppresses and raises up both men and women in different ways, right? But when we ask questions like, well, who's more homeless, men? Men can survive being homeless because we have a lot of biological advantages and because we're not subject to violence yeah. from other men in the same types of ways that women are, right? Yes. When, for instance, when women talk about, or when men, when red pillars say, you need a man to protect you, protection from who? From other men, 
right? Because that's really the people that are abusing or violating other women. So when you ask that question, who's more likely to be homeless, it's probably going to be men, of course, it's like 98%, but women are going to make a homeless. Fair point, but I want to add on to that because she's saying that the patriarchy, like, you know, disproportionately affects women in a negative way and it doesn't affect men in a negative way, but then where does homelessness the reason, come into yeah, play? So the reason why I don't like to use negative is because, so patriarchy is just like- I, a, I don't go and base off her example. Sure, That's what I'm saying. Pa- patriarchy is like a way that society is structured. It's enforced by everybody, because in some ways men and women benefit from it. In some ways men and women hurt from it. Um, but there are, um, the, 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 the way that we suffer under it, arguably, is, is subjective and whether or not it's good or bad. So for instance, like I imagine on this side of the table, people would say that women being relegated to relatively narrow roles and how they can participate in the house and society, they consider that a good thing. Um, feminists traditionally would say, well, women being relegated to narrow roles in the house would be a bad thing, right? So it's hard to say that like, is patriarchy good or bad? It's yeah. just like a form of organizing a society, the same way that a matriarchy would be, the same way egalitarian would be. There's gonna be pros and cons to every type of organization, yeah. right? Even patriarchy in some ways is incredibly beneficial to how society's arranged. It makes like figuring out gender roles and households and everything incredibly fucking simple yep. and gives really clear guidelines for how men are supposed to act and how women are supposed to act. That's yep. like a benefit. For sure. But in some ways it's a negative. Destiny and arguing that, for patriarchy. Right? But in no, some ways go. it's a negative because you might have an incredibly talented pool of women that could be contributing to society in really positive ways yep. that are now basically relegated to being barefoot and pregnant in their homes all the time because we don't really want their contributions, right? The reason why I think that our society has succeeded more in the West than it did in any other place in the world is to some extent because we opened the floodgates to allow any type of person to have a conversation. And that's why podcast like this or fresh and fit you're getting people from fucking that have traveled to Saudi Arabia and Dubai coming back and arguing with black women and Hispanic women and men of all sorts of different backgrounds and religions are all coming together having these conversations they're not doing that in fucking Saudi Arabia they're not doing that in fucking Iran they're not even doing that in a lot of places in Europe that's happening in the United States of America and I think it's largely because we try oh, to break down a lot of those yeah, the United States of America has so much fucking diversity and allows you to do whatever the fuck you want yeah <laughs> are you are you contributing are you contributing the success of the West to the principle of free speech um, I think Largely. that for, for freedom because, of speech and for the unlocking reason, the talent pool that you have of people by not hardcore relegating them to certain roles. The reason why I ask is because the West was successful relative to other civilizations mm-hmm. long before we had free speech and equal rights for everybody. I mean, the United States was kind of founded on pretty radical principles of free speech and yes. democracy and democratic Yes, it was, right? but the West existed prior to the United States. And I, I th- I'm talking about the real West, okay? The U.S. Fuck Europe. Okay. I mean, if we're talking, about the, saying, if we're talking about the real you West, it's the West like, Coast, the, bro. For even the people that we all love to, like, love and hate, like people like Elon Musk, this guy came from, like, South Africa. Right, like there's there's so much cool shit that happens in the U.S. that only happens in the U.S. Yeah, I agree. People come here, I and I know you guys have argued. People come here for the opportunity and stuff. We have a really unique environment here, and I think largely it's because we've tried to push people outside of like the hardcore relegated roles that we feel like they need to be in, which I think Freedom. benefits all of us. America. Yeah. I do. I do have to interrupt because we do need to get a couple of these uh, donations read. So let me redirect this here. We have Doc. The Nabili, to Chase's point, the only demographic in the West that is kind of realized, well, not really. Marriage is for the benefit of children when they're in. I appreciate it, man. DJ Takavar. Oh, hold on. That's another thing. Was that a cookie? Appreciate I'm it, bro. For next time, okay? All right, DJ, yeah. thank you, Brian. Crazy to see different dynamics of dating today in the 805 from San Luis Obispo. Made, moved to the U.S. for the <laughs> Liptard Clowns in their place. Also, Madison is so perfect. Madison? Mad- no. Bro. No, disgusting. Where does this come from, then? Yeah, we're not talking because about Because it's the, the stereotype. Shut, yeah. Shut it down. Shut up, bro. Oh, my well, God. Okay. Pull that one back um, up. He's doing when, he's oh, yeah. when he's done, you can... Oh, yeah, sorry. Yo, Davon Jackson, thank for the 100. The patriarchy is a society built by men for women and children. It's made, it's more convenient for women to raise children to the point that they think they don't need men to do it or opt not to at all. Hey, Davon Jackson, good to see you in the chat, man. Thank you, mu- thank you very much. Appreciate the donation. We have uh, this one here from uh, Billy U Ideology. One woman, ideal wife, a woman of noble character and virtue who takes care of her home, takes care of her husband, takes care of her kids, makes sure that the family's name is respected, mm. multiplies the family's investments. Her, her husband will uh, essentially need nothing because of how much she does for him and the family. Her, fa- her value is worth more than rubies. Yes, she is a, a, a wife. It says a wife of noble character who can find her value is worth far more than rubies. And it's true. Madison, any thoughts on the cinnamon He's comment? saying that you are worth far more than rubies, a wife of noble character. What do you think about that? I think it's actually very true, because that's exactly what I want to be. A wife. Praise the Lord, PTL. Nice. Okay, we have uh, nobody here. Thank you for the uh, donation, man. Appreciate it. I send you an instant message on desk and drunk. I'm going to skip yeah. the... Oh, man. Yeah. And then we had this, the bad ZXZ, that one came through. Let me do a couple from YouTube. We're, we're pretty Did you behind. read the EXZ one? It was a uh, TTS that I'm pretty sure came through already. It's called Reality. 
Can we just do stiff or really quick? Okay, what do you, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten really quick. Destiny, you ten, first. Ten, obviously. Ten. Ten, of course. Ten. Oh, God. I don't want to answer. <laughs> Why not? Patriarchy? No. Patri- the patri- <laughs> patriarchy. Patriarchy. Please. I just we'll like, give you a patriarchy two buffer. Just, so on, whatever you on, say, plus two. Hold on, hold on. Let her answer. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like um, to me it's weird when I try to like judge my own looks. I feel like I don't know. I feel like the question. Are you a ten? Fine, I'm a ten. Whatever. I'm the, don't let me put words in your mouth. No, I just I think like whenever people ask questions like that, it kind of annoys me because I feel like there's so much more to a person. There like is. How they there look. is. Of course. I know. I but, but then if I just about answer, looks. answer the question. Here we are yeah, going so to a million I'll say I can answer it for you. I'd say maybe a, a four, answer. six. I mean, personally, it's I think how hard. someone looks is like the least interesting thing about them. But that's just me. But I that realize wasn't you the do question. this little exercise know, on every single soy, episode, and the whole point is that everybody get the fuck out of here, bro. If there was, if every guy looked like the sloth and the fucking Goonies or girl, bro, like you know what I mean. And then you see, and you have the option to be with like a prince charming or the sexiest woman or whatever like, come on come on come on so okay like, what do you mean yourself yeah personality matters whatever all this other shit whatever too yeah i get that it's a it's in correlation but looks is important as well nine out of ten times someone's gonna go with the person that's more attractive and maybe less in the personality department okay or if there's a person that has better looks and the same personality as another person that has bad looks and a slightly better personality let's be real come on you know what i mean like come on I haven't right. heard that. Well, we haven't gotten to that side of the table. Yeah, it's I'll always answer. about looks and attraction. Always. But All the fucking time. Your... That's how it is in schools, environment, colleges. Get out of here. Self as well. Of course. Sometimes. Yeah. You say the there. same number every time? Yeah. 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 You don't feel like you have a good day or a bad day? No, I, I, I incorporate we'll that into it. my We'll time. get to it. So do you... you uh... I'll say 10. Let's continue. <laughs> no. I'm going to stick with my answer. It's a 6.7. Nev. Go I'm going to say a 6 for me as well. John. Uh, I'll give myself a seven today because this suit is really good. <laughs> I say seven. I would say a nine. A ten's not real. That's like an abstraction, right? Like assuming a normal distribution. <laughs> is Jesus a ten? There's an idea yeah, that's us. Of a rating <laughs> system. Okay. Right. Well, you know, people, I think they misunderstand that. They tend to think that like a seven is average because they think seven is 70%. That's like a C. Assuming a normal distribution, this is very important rating women, rating people in general. Five would be like a perfect average, and then you would see like a bell curve sort of slope from there. So if you're talking about a seven, I mean, that's already like what? Top 15%, probably even greater than that. It's very important stuff. Hey, we over here? We're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Chase, what about you? 7.5, 8 on a good day. Thank you. So this is not to be weird or anything. No, I didn't Too late for that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I mean, <laughs> I, I you have a boyfriend, you. don't Thank you? Thank you for the compliment. Just, well, no, I'm just saying, I see a beautiful man and I'll call him a beautiful man. Oh, all right. Thank Chase. you. Okay. I, I appreciate that. By the way, uh, hmm. virgin? It, yeah, I am. She has a boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Uh, I, I give myself a six, <laughs> 6. 6.9 on a good day. How about with the wig on, though? 10. 10. Ten. <laughs> I'm like the mirror <laughs> opposite of destiny with the wig. True. 10. Of course. Um, yeah, the 10 thing though. I'm know. sorry, I kind of fucked you on that by answering initially. My bad. It's all good. It's all good. Um, so you object to the whole 10 thing. You said people really shouldn't care about much about physical appearance. Um, it's not, I'm not going to pretend like people aren't influenced by physical appearance. I just feel like so much. Of I'm going to say this right now. None of these motherfuckers are a 10. Okay. The only people that are closest to a 10 would be Chase and the one in the pink. That is it. If you want to like give someone the benefit of the doubt, but even they are not fucking 10s. A 10, like, come on. You, you guys know what a fucking 10 is. It's like little models, the best looking man alive, the best looking girl alive. Let's be real. Like, I'm sorry. If I see a celebrity that's like fucking blatantly a 10, you know I mean? Like Chris Hemsworth or whatever, things like that, whatever. And then I compare me. Let's be real, bro. Come on. You know, what are we doing? Focuses on that. And it's like, dude, there is well, it's so extremely, much more. It's extremely important. It's, you have to have attraction to have a relationship yeah, last. It's, it's normal. just a question about how would you rate your physical looks? That's yeah. all it is. Yeah, that's that's, fine. It's not like what's I'm your worth as a human being. It's not important. I'm, obviously, it's important to some. I'm just saying to me personally, I tend to think how people look is usually the least interesting thing about them. I think there's a lot more to people. Cool. Who just something yeah. question, something okay. tells yeah. me yeah. you're lying based on the fact that you've never been on a date before. I and think have something probably tells me rejected. you're projecting. No, no, no. Right? I, think, I think you've rejected every dude that's asked you out because probably because none of them have been interesting or good looking enough to go out with them. No. No? If I've rejected people, it's literally just been on the basis that I don't think we're compatible. We can still you be friends. You haven't even gone on a date with them, though. How do you know you're not compatible? Took the words not right out of my mouth. I'm time on going on a date with them if I don't feel that initial compatibility or, like, chemistry there. I think that's where you're failing. You're... You're not going on dates with people yet. You're saying, "Oh, I'm judging them on compatibility," but you're not actually like 
I mean, when you say the you judgment honest? is not just like occurring out of nowhere. If they ask me if I would like to go on a date with them, if they would just are going to tell me like come on a date with me, I mean that's different. But like when you ask somebody on a date, you're accepting that they may or may <laughs> not reject you. You are right? everything wait, wait, wait. wrong are you, are you, with are you, are you modern dating. dating. Hold on, hold on. I think hold you on, are hold everything. Hold on. I mean, we ladies, already established ladies, that ladies, I'm not ladies, dating. So, are, are you, insi- you are, are you insi- hold on, Billy Ray, Billy Ray, are you insinuating that if a guy told you come on a date with me, you'd be like okay? No. I just you said, you, said it would be, you said it would be different if a guy said it. No, that because way. she said that you're judging people on the basis of this, and I'm saying if you ask somebody on a date, you're putting yourself out there, and you are opening yourself up to rejection. Would you go on a date with Fresh from the Fresh and Fit podcast? <laughs> would I go on a date with Fresh? Yes, oh he's my. a good-looking, attractive who, who, who man. Who wouldn't go on a date with Fresh? Who wouldn't go on a date with Myron? Who wouldn't go on a date with the entire crew at Fresh and Fit? You know? No, no, I'm just asking you about Fresh. Is that a yes? Say it to the camera. <laughs> to Fresh? Yeah. That, ca- oh, that camera right there. Wait. Are you advocating for... You're so fucking difficult. It, yes. I think that's your problem. Yes. Oh, you just cut me <laughs> off. Okay. I'm sorry that I cut you off, but it's just like I've been holding it in. Oh, like. then maybe not, because if I'm so like difficult and disagreeable, then it doesn't sound like Fresh and I would get along, right? So. Okay, okay here's, not. Here's, here's a clarifying question. When was the last time you met or discovered or anything? Maybe you didn't meet him. When was the last, when was last time, time... Hold on. When was the last time you came across a guy who you were like... We all need to pray for that, that black-haired chick, bro. I'm sorry, but please, everybody, pray for her. You need... <laughs> She's done. If she don't change her ways and figure something the fuck out, she's never going to be with anybody in her life. Like, it, like, she even just says it herself that she has even no interest. It's like, it's a lost cause at that point, bro. Out with him if you ask me. Can you ever remember an instance where you found a guy attractive and would want to go out with him? Um, I mean, when you say that, I guess it would have to, like, if you're asking me, like, the last time that I could remember, I can't think off the top of my head, no. Can't remember the last guy you were attracted to? What? No. I got a question. It's what? not because they don't exist. Did you have There's crushes of, on guys in not, high school or I'm college to or anything? Your question. Yeah. It's not because attractive men don't exist. Attractive men are all around me. But I'm saying that there's more to like what I'm going to consider when I'm deciding like who do, who do I want to date more than just physical attractiveness. There's a plethora of physically I know, but that's not men. my question. My question is, can you remember the last guy you were attracted to? Like their face, or like the just when it happened. Just in general, or... energy, face, <laughs> everything. Can, can you ask to be a troll, dude? This is such like a troll. troll question, but I like I don't know what you, exactly what you mean, or like I, I'm asking. Can, do you want can kids? Can you stop can, wait, asking her questions? Like, do you want kids? Can you remember the last? Wait, can you remember uh, the last time? It. I don't know if I can have kids. But can you remember the last time a guy liked you, like engaged in conversation <laughs> and like she wanted to go on a date with you? Yeah. When was that? Today. Who? I wanted to go on a date with you today. No, like, was I asked on a date today? Yeah, no. That's but I'm, I'm in contact and friends with men who have asked me on dates before that I didn't go on. Okay. Can I ask a question? Is yeah. your neck okay? Huh? Oh, I, I got... I don't see you have, like, a cooling pad or something. You do Oh, yeah, I've got chronic neck pain issues. I've got a neck injury, so... Damn. Does this podcast help or hurt that? Oh, it Definitely it hurts. <laughs> stress, is, stress does not help with pain Definitely issues, hurts. So. I don't know. With Chase next to you, I think that should also be, like, helping, right? Bro, you're weird. You're fucking goofy. This <laughs> <laughs> fucking chick. Okay. Are you a virgin? <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no question. Just, right. I'm just, because, like, you, she you must be, dude. After no, that conversation, I think so. She intellectualizes it and says, like, what is a virgin, though? Yeah. <laughs> There's no such thing as virginity, and here's why. Because here's all my idea of a virgin. Some school. kind of abstraction. Real, Nothing's like, black and white. You know, like, <laughs> nothing is but black But there is no real virgin. Well, because you Only say you've, like, never been on a date, so I'm just trying to figure it out. You don't have to ever worry about, like, the patriarchy boogeyman of, like, men, like, kidnapping you or whatever, because they just return you after you talk so much. Brian, are you a virgin? No, I was going to say, if you've never been on a Wait, date... Wait, but Brian, but Brian, I'd like are you to be the virgin? first. No, I'm not <laughs> No? No. Oh, okay. So he- All right, we're going to end this episode here. Um, not a lot of stopping points, but it was pretty, pretty good so far. Um, overall thoughts, you name it. The black hair chick, she is a fucking lost cause. She's lost in the sauce. She's, she's gone. Nobody there likes her. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> so... It is what it is. Um, you know, that's basically that. As for everything else, tons of good points on both sides. Fair points, contentiousness, whatever, blah, 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 you name it. It was extremely, really close with Chase and Destiny. If I had to give it, I'd say Destiny as of now. Maybe if I would have go back, Chase maybe got it. But it was really, really close. It's kind of like Swag and Noodles again. You know what I mean? So, but... Um, Overall, like, it, it was really good. I, I enjoyed it. A lot of funny stuff. A lot of heat, heated stuff happening for a moment and people getting emotional. Things like that, etc. You name it. Um, 
It was really, really good. I enjoyed it for a third part of it. This is more of like a chill one, to be honest. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more content. Subscribe because of the channel. And as always, see you guys in the next one. Babbin out. Peace.